The California drought has put the spotlight squarely on a growing problem in the state that is leaving many farmers thirsty for change. 23 ABC's Mark Christian tells how water theft is affecting farmers and how the loss could impact all of us. As California residents and businesses face a new reality of dwindling reservoirs and water restrictions. Knowing that we're in a drought situation, water theft could rise very quickly. Farmers in Northern California continue to be targeted by water theft. Though not a huge problem here locally, one farm in Northeast Bakersfield became a victim of water theft when thieves used the farm's water to irrigate an illegal marijuana crop. Kern County is, is a a location where we have a lot of large farming operations. A lot of them are very secure. A lot of them have their own security guards and security systems. Now in other parts of the state, thieves are stealing up to 5 million gallons of water per day by tapping into farmers' irrigation lines to grow their illegal marijuana, which could have a trickle-down effect to you and I at home. Any theft and any cost to the farmer is going to end up raising the cost of the product, which means in the end, the consumer is going to pay more for their food. Thieves have been known to drill illegal wells, secretly tap into neighboring water tanks, and even go so far as to pump water directly from local streams and irrigation canals into storage containers. Local farmers are keeping a more watchful eye, even though the problem hasn't happened here too much. That doesn't mean it can't happen. We already have electrical wire theft rampantly damaging farmers and they're getting away with that so water theft can easily occur as well. In Bakersfield, Mark Christian, 23 ABC.